Landmark budget deal passing the state legislature, totaling around $212 billion, give or take a few. Talk more about it. We're joined now by State Senator John Mannion, who uh, worked late last night, well into early this morning. Um, got a few winks in there, I think, John, to uh, rest up. Thanks so much for joining us tonight, Senator. Thank you for having me on, Jeff. Um, so let's unpack at least a little bit of this. Real general in here, what do you like the most out of this state budget? Well, as somebody who came from the world of public education and who has, uh, you know, three children who have gone through it and a spouse that is uh, still actively a teacher uh, in an online one, um, I would say that the fact that we have committed to our children's future, the fact that we are finally have a pathway to fully funding their education, you know, there's some really great um, enhancements to the funding for schools across the area uh, to make sure that you know we can provide an enriched education for these students additionally uh, we uh, have an expansion of universal pre-kindergarten mm -hmm. which is fantastic it's going to impact many of the districts in our area and up to 232 uh, school districts across the state uh, there's some other great things in there related to child care and also assistance for small businesses. Uh, so this is a budget to be excited about. And, you know, I was proud to work hard to make sure that we got some good things in there, not just for the things that I mentioned, but I'm also the disabilities chair. Right. And I believe that we've restored uh, some reasonable funding and a cost of living adjustment to, uh, to that department, which is essential. I know uh, education is near and dear to your heart for obvious reasons. It looks like on paper schools are getting the funding they need, even Syracuse City Schools uh, getting some back funding that they've been owed. A am I reading this correctly? Well, there is a funding formula that has been out there for a long time, and um, we have not been fully funding schools based on that formula. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you talk to school districts, they will indicate that they, they really are short and have been owed a lot of dollars. This doesn't fully restore that, but the, the good news is that it restores some of that, mm. those back funds. And I think even more importantly, is there is a very short term pathway to fully funding, fully meeting that foundation aid formula within just three years. What do you um, like the least in this budget? What kind of troubles you a little bit? Well, as I said, um, I am the disabilities chair, and we fought hard to make sure that some cuts were restored. And like I said, there was a, a cost of living adjustment that has been long overdue. Um, we've had uh, over a decade where there has been no cost of living adjustment. Um, that's great news, but there could be even better news there. Um, one thing that's concerning is that in the areas of mental health, which is not by committee, but one I obviously care about mm -hmm. and there's a great need for, um, there were some areas there where we're falling short and I promise to advocate to make sure that, uh, that we have all the services and all the locations necessary to help people as we know that this is a challenging time and the need in that area is just getting greater. Right. Um, moving on. And this is a dense issue, mobile sports betting, but a big piece of the budget here. Um, is there any way Central New York does not lose out the way things are written so that the Oneida Nation and Central New York all benefit from um, mobile sports betting in some way? I believe that in the end, that is absolutely going to happen. Uh, I have a great relationship with Senator Dabo, who chairs the gaming committee, and we've had conversations. Uh, I think many of us are aware that the Oneidas have agreement, an agreement with the state of New York and an exclusivity agreement. Uh, there's some debate as to whether that also involves mobile sports betting. I'm pretty confident we're going to get there. I do think with the budget, you know, trying to get it wrapped up and having a very narrow timeline, that that was impactful on us not having a complete agreement on that. But I think that um, all parties know where they stand. I think there's room for everyone. I think Central New York is going to be included when it comes time. And it's going to be a little bit of fun mm -hmm. because we're not just going to flip a switch and implement this. It's going to take some time. And uh, I believe that will make sure that all parties are in the game. Last one quick. Um, a lot of money for child care in there. How's that trickle down to families, daycare providers, et cetera, here in Central New York? 
Well, this is very important, and we know that we are in the midst of a child care crisis, and with the pandemic, you know, it's just been even more challenging. So there's a couple ways that we're going to make sure that funds go to the right places. Mm -hmm. One is to support uh, some low-income families to make sure that they have the funds necessary to, to be able to have their children participate in these child care programs. And then additionally, there will be some direct grants to those child care programs to help them meet uh, some of the some of the costs that they've had to accumulate over time, make sure that they can open safely. So there's a couple different ways that we're dedicating dollars to this absolutely uh, necessary uh, part of our community that we um, we need we need to make sure that they're doing a great job for us and they have. But there's a need there, and just like a lot of other places, um, there have been some challenges. We need to support them, and I believe this budget does that. Senator John Mannion, uh, so much to unpack there. We're going to have you back again to talk a little bit more, but that scratched the surface a little bit for us tonight. Thanks so much for being with us, and and get some rest. <laughs> I'm going to try. Yes, uh, 30 minutes is not enough. I appreciate it, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you.